Are you tolerated or are you celebrated? On May 2012, we were honored to have an opportunity to present Heshimika Excellency Initiative Program to over 50 head teachers drawn from all over Nairobi County. Indeed, we were honored to have the presence of top education officials and leaders of the teachers organization, the Kenya Secondary School Head Teachers Association. And through this principal's breakfast, we were able to integrate and interact with the principals and help them to appreciate the importance of the Heshimika initiative. Now, to commence this uh, session today, I first want to observe all protocol. I want to uh, thank the management of CSC. Uh, specifically, I want to mention names now and risk it. The CSC management country, head of sales, Mr. William Olwande, national sales manager, Gilbert Arita, and uh, training manager, Lucy, for allowing us for uh, being kind sponsors for this event. I also want to recognize the presence of uh, the CEO of Eshika, Pastor Joseph Wanda, who is coming in shortly. And I uh, just want to hand over the mic over to him so that he can take us through the next session. You are excellencies. Let's salute each other if you are an excellency. Indeed, all protocols observed. I want to appreciate you are gracing us with your presence this very early morning on a Saturday. I know it's not very usual for uh, principals and busy people like you to create, I mean, to be involved in such an early morning engagement. And so your presence to us here is really a statement of the value you place on yourself and the value you place on the young people that God has allowed you to take care of. And therefore, Yes, uh, this morning, it's my privilege to just uh, highlight to us a few things concerning the message of excellency as it relates to the, the programs that we are rolling out in the schools and indeed across the country. And so this morning, before we go further, I want to just ask us a big question. I call it the big question. That's the big question. It's on the screen. And I'd like you to read that question to your neighbor. Please turn to your neighbor. Tole? Oh, celebrated, eh? Is it tolerated or tolerated? Tolerated, okay. So ask your neighbor, are you tolerated, celebrated or tolerated? And insist on a, on a response. to yourself. Maybe just intonate it or just read it like a, you're reading a, a letter from a dear friend. My deepest fear is not that I am inadequate. My deepest fear is that I am powerful beyond measure. It is my light, not my darkness, that most frightens me. I ask myself, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous, actually, who am I not to be? I'm a child of God. My playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around me. 
I am meant to shine as children do. I was born to make manifest the glory of God that is within me. It's not just in some of us, it is in everyone. Is that true? And you are indeed very strategic people. You are the gatekeepers of values. You are the gatekeepers of uh, certain significant social transformations, especially to the young people. And therefore, we are here to say that you are celebrated and not tolerated. And as you let your light shine, as you become your excellency, what happens is the teachers, the students, under your care and under your influence and management, they will all become their excellencies. And so I want to just highlight Excelwise Ventures. We are a personal development organization. Our philosophy is to inspire excellency of expressions. And uh, we do that in uh, strategic ways, personal development consultancy, inspirational motivational speaking, that's very deliberate, not just motivational speaking, but motivational speaking that is inspirational. And then we also do, we have inspirational resource materials. Some of them you'll find them out there. And then we do chaplaincy consultancy. And uh, that's where we are able to help from the spiritual point of view to help issues that uh, I know many of you are aware and have been privileged to interact with in your schools when you need prayers and uh, support in spiritual sense, then we do that from a professional side, it's called chaplaincy. Then Excellency Life Skills Coaching, perhaps that's what I'll, uh, just for the few minutes remaining, build on, because we've rolled out a big program for Excellency Life Skills Coaching, the one we call Hishimika Initiative. Those are some of our products. Time evaluation is a very key concept, and I know we all know that it's a big challenge in our civilization, time use, is that so? And so we say that uh, direct when you know your values, you will not struggle to direct your time to it. So time evaluation vis-a-vis -vis time management, because uh, we know that if you, something is valuable to you, it will attract your time. And so that uh, basically is, uh, and the books are available, we can provide to your schools. The Become Your Excellency book is actually the premise upon, or the philosophy archived of uh, the program uh, Heshimika Excellence Initiative. And that book is also available. However, uh, I would like you to know, this is not marketing. I know there are better marketers here. This is passing information, all right? So, the other booklet, Excellency Series. This is a talk that I've done to more than 10,000 audience, especially in most of our schools in the past term. Uh, first, second and third term of last year, high altitude attitude. And I know uh, there are schools here that know that uh, there are students, all of them have been trained on this and the results are. So, about Hishimika Excellence Initiative, because that's essentially my call here in the few minutes. It is a, a personal development and empowerment program that seeks to inspire excellency of expressions in individuals and institutions as, so that they can aspire to the highest possible standards, ideals, and values in their personal, professional, and occupational proficiency in the, proficiencies in the society. Basically, this is a program we've rolled out to promote the message of personal excellency. And I do believe that every one of us is an excellency in their own right. And uh, through Heshimika program, we basically emphasize it's about the person before the position, possession, and passions that they spread in the society. If the person is organized, if the person is empowered, then the other things, the position, the possession, and the passions will all follow in that order. And I like the quote by Jack Canfield. He said, the real truth is that there is only one person responsible for the quality of the life you live. That person is who? It's me. And this is what Heshimika is all about, not Mweshimiwa. Mweshimiwa depends on others. Mweshimika depends on you. And so uh, we say that everybody can and must hold themselves personally responsible to the fact that they are valuable, respectable, and recognizable or honorable. You are responsible. If people will respect you, it is up to you. That's what we call Heshimika. 
And therefore, I make the quote by Abraham Lincoln, worry not that you are recognized, only worry that you are recognizable. How many of us like to be recognized? Then the question is, are you respectable? If you like to be trusted, are you trustworthy? So ladies and gentlemen, this is what Heshimika is about. We categorize them as progressive and proactive thinkers in competitive and strategic value shaping sectors. And there are five, four sectors we are focusing on as we roll out this program. We have the education sector, the corporate sector, religious sector, and public sector. These are sectors where we know there's a lot of value shaping, there's a lot of character formation. And uh, if we work with those who are in those sectors, and uh, we are able to instill the right values, then we are sure our country has a future. So when else we are looking at those sectors that I've mentioned, uh, we are also very cognizant of the fact that the youth factor in this country is key. Youth that ages 15 to 20, 34, the trends between 1969 and 2009 shows that kind of a progression. By 2009, there were 10.1 million. That's that age bracket. In fact, last year, I don't know that any one of us can remember this, on Wednesday, Ju July uh, 2010, actually, 2010, a, a research by Consumer Insight showed that Kenyan youth ages uh, 14 to 24 spend 197 billion every year. They, not those are not employed people, yeah? 15 to 24, they are not in active employment, but they spend that amount of money. And so when we start looking at this population, we realize there's a big challenge, but I'll show you this in a moment. And by distribution, this is the distribution. I think most of them are, 31% of that age bracket are the ones we are dealing with, that's ages 15 to 19, and the others are all there for you to see. In Nairobi, the ages 15 to 34 are that percentage. What percentage? 11%. And now the other provinces, they also, you can see the statistics. So that means we need to know where to, uh, to start directing. Even the sales, the insurance, CFC life, now I'm giving you secrets. Is that so? However, all that is to say, we have a big challenge, the values question. If we have 78% of the population below age 34, and that population is going to determine the future of this country, therefore we need to ask ourselves the value question. So Heshimika Excellency Initiative seeks to install core values in both individuals and institutions to, for cumulative social transformation and install the software, what we call the software in quotes. Because we have the hardware of education, the hardware of money, the hardware of all these things. But if we, they do not have the software, then those machines will collapse. True or true? I don't give options for false. True or true? <laughs> so we educate them, but when they come out, they have the hardware of education, but they don't have the, the software. And so she make initiative seeks to do that. It underpins a personal identity, responsibility, integrity, and competency. These are the things that uh, ladies and gentlemen, when we work with you and when you hear that this Shemika program or this excellency training, these are the things that we underpin. And uh, there are six modules that the program uh, uh, takes the trainees through uh, in order to instill those values. There's uh, the module one, the excellency pillars. Basically, there are those key things. Anyone that says uh, an excellency must show seven things. And then there's excellency person, self mastery. How do you appraise yourself? Because how you define yourself determines how you find yourself. If you define yourself well, you find yourself well. Then module three, the excellency perspective. There are certain critical shifts because your outlook determines your, is there. Your outlook determines your, your desired outcome. So we are saying that with all that is happening around, we must have critical shifts in attitude. And we say that this particular one, we must move ourselves from yes I can to yes I must. It's part of the training. We train these people through the Shivika program how to move from yes I can. And the fourth module is the power postures, the lifestyle, the behaviors. Because your lifestyle is about your posture. See, in life you're either sitting, standing, or walking. If people look at you whether you're an excellency or not, you're a celebrity or not, 
whether by your lifestyle. And then the module four, five is very key. Uh, we also, those whom we train, are demanded upon to initiate a project, an excellency project. This can what they can do something small but powerful that can help them change a mediocre issue around them into an excellency level. Then the last module is mentorship process. Many of us are supposed to be mentors, and so we we train and help people to identify and associate with these people. Just allow me to, because this is the key of the whole program. If you probably want to get anything, this is what you must get. The module one, just to highlight module one. The excellency pillars. One, the pillar of excellency of conscience. Two, character. Three, conduct, competence, constant improve, I mean community or cohesion, constant improvement, and finally, creative change. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the software. So Heshimika, you are either celebrated or tolerated on account of these seven things. And so when we train your students and when we train you even as an individual, these are things you are trained how to master. Because if you have, let me ask us, do you think if we have Excellency of conscious, even in political excellencies, will this country change? Yes. And we say it all begins with every one of us at a personal level. So this is our goal. We want to raise a million excellencies. And then we form an, a, a framework, we call it AMEN. And so with that, uh, the power, as I just need to mention, the testimonial I mentioned there, 452 excellencies trained from April 2011 to April 2012. And uh, it was a successful commissioning ceremony, very emotional. A former member of parliament, whose son was trained in one of the schools in September, when the son went back during the holidays in uh, December, the man said, the son changed. It was either something so bad that happened to him or something so good. But apparently, the boy was very good. He was washing dishes. He was very decently dressed, all those things. So when, during the ceremony, he stood in the, in the auditorium. In the, he walked down there and said, wait, Mr. MC. And Mr. Mwanza, the MC for today, was the one MC. He said, wait. Then people wondered, who is this man? And he walked to the podium and he said, I must speak. My son changed. And when I inquired, I knew it was because of this program. And I said, I must come today and see the people in charge of this program. And he said, even myself, I want to come for the program to be trained as an excellency. I was a Moshimiwa, let me call me Shiwa. Anyone that comes to this training, including those students, these are the benefits we can guarantee you. We don't want to overpromise, but we overdeliver. That anybody that is trained as an ambassador of excellency, they have excellency empowerment. Then there's the membership of the Million Excellencies Network, then there's pursuit of and promotion of personal or institutional excellency project, and that is really satisfying to know that you're doing something that's adding value. And then there's mentorship and mutual support from wide spectrum of individuals and institutions. I just need to mention that when we were commissioning the excellency, the first batch, uh, the two uh, commissioners of the excellencies who are, happen to be my mentors at a personal level, but they've been part of this program, is Excellency Professor Pierre Lumumba and His Excellency Dr. James Magaria, the proprietor of Daystar University and also Management University of Africa, Karen Hospital. And uh, those are some of the individuals and institutions, again, I want to say, such as CFC Life. Say amen. amen. Right? And others that will give you mutual support where you need the most. Because after all, you are an excellence, you need preferential treatment. And one of the things we give you, I think I have one here. We give you a Muheshimika VIP card. Yeah, maybe I can ask it this past one. Eh? Make sure you touch it. If you can touch it, you can catch it. All right? Those are some of the benefits you get. So the role of the principals and the education sector in Heshimika Excellence Initiative, some of my team call it HEI. All right? So personal excellence, this is one of the roles you can play. When you become an excellence at a personal level as a principal and the education sector, we are honored to have Her Excellency, the PDE in Nairobi has been very supportive and endorsed this program. The education sector, if we can have personal excellency of amongst the gatekeepers, then we know that you'll be playing a key role in this program. Then promotion of excellency, culture, 
in the institutions so that all those seven pillars are a culture in your school. Will that be a great day in your school? Right? Then, of course, we have uh, your participation, partnership, and networking. That's why part of why we call you here. So that you can own it, you can understand it. And it's not perfect, but we can also take in your input as we will uh, later on allow you to ask some questions and make your remarks. And finally, what it takes to conduct this program, of course, we need you to register. Uh, there's a registration course that is staggered based on certain parameters, such as numbers, such as uh, duration. The course, we can do it one full day, like one school took all their students to Lukenya Getaway uh, together with the staff, and we, that's my name, and I need to mention, and we train them for a whole day, and uh, that had its own par uh, parameters of uh, the course, and then we, you can do it two half days. I know some schools which have already engaged us from next week. We are doing a three weeks training, so every week for two hours, we go to that school and do uh, the Shimika training, and I think that's uh, how it works. Then we also have the materials. Those are some of the things that it, uh, we, we have. These are well done. The Shimika Excellency Workbook, I'm honored to have His Excellency Professor Lumumba having done a very articulate forward for it, endorsing the program. And then we have Become Your Excellency Book is part of the package we give you. And then of course the training delivery which is done in a very motivating, inspiring way and uh, with, by professionals. And so you get uh, all that happening for you. And with that, I salute your excellence. I want to show you that, but maybe time will not allow. What have you seen in that picture? As I ask Prescott to come forward. What are you seeing in that picture? Okay, she saw two old people. Yes. What did you see, sir? You saw a bottle. There's so much, ladies and gentlemen, there's so much to be seen in this picture. How many of us see the guitar there? How many of us see the lady coming from that door? Yes. How many of us see this lady adjusting her turban? <laughs> How many of us see this trophy in the middle of the faces? That's to say, you can look at your whole school, you can look at this country, and what you see may be what somebody else is not seeing. All right? And then thank you, I salute your excellencies. Thank you very much. We will interact later. Thank you.